Man, I really need a haircut. I feel like every time I think about making an appointment... Oh, floor price is rising on one of my bags. What's up fam, this is Legato from Omega Alpha. Today we're gonna to talk about the future of artificial intelligence and Web3. As you probably have noticed, every influencer and their wife's boyfriend has been making videos on AI. But in this video, I'm gonna specifically talk about how AI affects the future of Web3. Not only NFT projects, but how to create your own project, how to get a Web3 job, and just generally making everything about the process easier. If you like content specifically targeting Web3 and NFT topics, please hit that like and subscribe button below. As I always say, I am not a financial advisor. Anything I say in this video should not be taken as financial advice. I literally sneak in shameless plugs about my alpha group in every video that I do. Huh, I swore I saw something up here. It looked really cool, really undervalued, and incredibly full of utility and whitelists. Huh, I don't know what it is. So don't listen to anything that I say. By the end of this quick video, you're gonna be educated on exactly what to look for in NFT projects, ideas and information about using AI to launch your own projects, and how AI can help you grow your own following and your presence in the Web3 space. If you're looking to grow your network, or become a creator, now is the time to learn about AI. 2023 is gonna be the year of artificial intelligence. Let's start with a quick 30 seconds in case you've been living under a rock lately about why AI is catching so much attention. A huge amount of publicly available AI software and API has become way more talked about lately. There's a ton of really good ones out there for AI images that you can create yourself. OpenAI's Dolly, Midjourney, Night Cafe, Starry AI, Stable Diffusion. And honestly, I'm just listing a couple of the most popular ones. Be it on a website, on your phone, or on Discord, with a couple quick words and prompts, you can generate beautiful AI-created art. Be it self-portraits, fantasy landscapes, NFT avatars, or pictures of feet. You can mimic any art style you want, and any type of aspect ratio, color resolution, anything. It's really insane. Not only that, but in most cases it's free, and you have the rights to the images you make. Then you have ChatGPT. But with ChatGPT, you can literally have a conversation with AI and have it generate anything in text. Want to create bullet points for a presentation that you need to do? Ask ChatGPT and give it the topic. It'll do it. Create a resume. Create an outline. Generate SEO keywords for your website. Titles for YouTube videos that should catch more attention. Maybe I should take my own advice. But seriously, it's nuts. It basically has the entirety of the internet downloaded through the end of 2019. The power of ChatGPT and AI in general is insane. I can go on and on about this. I've been deep in the AI trenches for months. I was one of OpenAI's early supporters with Dolly and had access to it before it was public. Unlike a lot of people that talk about it, that literally learned about it within the last few weeks. Savage. But let's talk about NFT art. If you're even just in the NFT scene a little bit, you know that a ton of projects are coming out now that use AI art. And there's a reason for that. You can quickly obtain awesome art for your NFT project really easily and really fast. Like I mentioned earlier in a the video, there's a lot of good ones out there. Dolly, Night Cafe, Stable Diffusion. But hands down, my favorite is Midjourney. The quality of art that you can get on Midjourney with text prompts is insane. If you allow yourself some time to read up on it and learn about prompts and prompting with Midjourney, things like image weight and aspect ratio and different versions of render, different different engines, different speeds, you will literally be blown away. There have been some really successful projects and alpha groups that have used AI art for everything. And if you really dive down the mid-journey rabbit hole, you can go as far as creating a character and have the seed for that generation saved. Then you can reference that as you make variations of the artwork. So let's say you create a picture of a blue-haired cyberpunk hacker that you love, and you want to have variations of that art, like what would he look like 10 years younger? What would he look like on a horse? What would he look like in a bathtub with his feet sticking out? You can literally do that. The next topic I want to talk about, which is still art related, is creating assets. If you're launching your own NFT project, you need more than just the NFT art itself. Your website needs pictures for the background. And not just for an NFT project, let's say you're trying to create an agency in Web3. You're trying to get clients and you're a collab manager or an advisor or a developer. A whole world of art that can be made in seconds is literally at your fingertips. And let's get off of the art topic. How about ChatGPT? You can literally use it to write a pitch deck, a resume, a presentation. You want to make better tweets? You want to fill out an NFT application for Whitelist and make it look like you actually were paying attention to everything? 
There's more and more apps coming out. Tome is one that comes to mind where it literally takes ChatGPT and integrates it into a platform that lets you make presentations. If you're a creator or you're trying to be a creator, you can use ChatGPT to generate scripts for your content. Edit it a little bit, add a little flair on it. Go to a website like Pexels where you can get DRM and copyright free images and videos that you can use and you're good to go. AI can be used for voiceovers. I'm sure a lot of you have seen those YouTube or TikTok videos where it sounds like a robot is talking but you know what sometimes that works out perfectly depending what type of content you're creating maybe you have this really cool idea for an nft project well you can use ai for the art ai for the text ai for the lore ai for the story ai for the voice ai for the music there's ai music software out there that will take an entire collections of songs from an artist or songs that you feed it download it and learn from it and then kick out an example song that will sound very similar to the content you made before AI is a huge opportunity and the technology is only going to get better and better. Not only can ChatGPT do Unity, HTML, and JavaScript, it can literally do a Solidity contract. Again, I would have somebody look at it and not use it straight up, but think about all the expenses that NFT projects had to deal with last year. You can cut down on expenses dramatically. Someone with no artistic ability can learn to be really good with prompt engineering for AI art and make a name for themselves and generate income from that. There's already a third-party add-on that supposedly upgrades ChatGPT and lets it use information all the way through 2022. I haven't used that myself yet, but think about how much Web3 has changed dramatically from 2021 to 2022 to now. The other reason why I wanted to talk about this is you need to be aware of what projects you buy into. If you're an NFT flipper, trader, or investor, you always want to do your own research on the project before you get into it. Many times with a little practice, you can recognize AI art on projects. There's been a wave recently of these 333 or 999 low supply projects with AI art, and sometimes the art looks awesome, but there's no no team, nobody's docs, there's no website, there's literally nothing. Now, if you're buying that project because you think the art looks dope or you want to gamble with your Monopoly money, that's totally fine. I can't stop you from setting your money on fire. But most of the time, these projects go to zero. It's one thing to have a really cool idea or a great team and utilize AI to make your project better. But there's going to be a lot of projects that just use AI in the tagline or hide it in an attempt to push junk out there for you to mint. The same goes with Japanese and Asian projects right now. You're going to see projects that just throw Japanese lettering up in the profile and use some anime or Japanese culture themed art and try to trick people into spending their hard earned monopoly money thinking that it's a real project and it's going to blow up to two ETH. AI is awesome, it is only going to get better, but at the same time it's going to make it a lot easier for bad actors to spit out junk projects. If you're watching this video now, you are still early. Blockchain, AI, Web3, none of it is going anywhere. You want to make sure that you utilize the power of AI to its fullest extent. If you want to start a Web3 related business, agency, collab management service, whatever it is, AI can help you increase the quality of your presentations to other people. So don't let the opportunity pass you by. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you like Web3 and NFT related content, please hit that like and subscribe button. If there's a specific AI related project or app that you think we should talk about, drop it in the comments below. If you want to learn more about the Omega Alpha Group or the services that we provide, check out the description below. And on that note, peace.